Hello, today I will be doing a video on separation. After a horrible accident, a single father starts noticing his daughter's odd behavior and believes something is very wrong with their house. The movie's opening credits start out with really cool horror animations. This was a red flag for me because as much as I like animation, I was worried it would be an all style and no substance type of film. To my surprise, the plot is very strong, the acting was good, the drama involving the underachieving loving father and the hard ass resentful mother battling for custody of their daughter was very engaging. Even if this wasn't a horror movie, that premise alone would make for a good drama or thriller. Not only is the father who means well is going toe to toe with his ex-wife, but he's going up against her father as well, and they use their money to persuade any outcome they want. When the horror aspect comes into play, it's a very nice transition from the family drama involving an accident to an evil entity in a brownstone. And the way it was done gave me goosebumps. There were times where I could see things coming as a scene was happening, but it's done in a way where it still caught me off guard. And this happens twice in the movie. You know something's going to occur, but the execution was solid. However, there was one rocky scene where a demon is contorting its body, and it has very heavy CGI, and it looked goofy. First thing that came to my mind was why didn't they just hire a real contortionist? This looked very silly. It would look better in something that was aimed at children, but this is aimed at adults, and you have to come better than this. And this is when I started to think, oh no, this is why the movie has such a low rating on IMBD. Yikes. It started off so promising, and then you get something so goofy. But I was happy to see that the rest of the movie and the scares are pretty decent. There's a lot of suspense. Some scenes even have a fantasy feel to it, so it's supposed to look fake at times. Going back to the animation, the lead character is a cartoonist, and I thought the way this was implemented in the story gave it an authentic feel. It wasn't just a demonic spirit with a creepy aesthetic. It tied in well with the father's career. And in my opinion, his animations were so good and it baffled me his career wasn't kicking off. How does no one want to work with his drawings? The biggest flaw with this movie is when they try to balance horror and drama. I did like this at first, but for the longest time I had no idea where the story was going. Around the 45 or 50 minute mark, I felt like I was on a treadmill, and I felt fatigued. I was still invested, but I wanted to know what direction this was heading in. Where are we going? I'm still with you on this, but let's get a move on. Like, chop, chop. There was a point where I started to question if the scary stuff was really happening, and was it another so-called horror movie where it despicts trauma with horror elements? Quite frankly, I'm sick of those types of films. I've seen them so many times in the last six months alone. Thank God that this is not that type of movie. Towards the end is where it really got good. I was on the edge of my seat. The score is fantastic and so is the camera work. I really did like this and I do recommend checking it out and giving it a chance. There aren't any crappy jump scares if that's something that you hate. This is worth checking out and I give this a six and a half out of ten.